bless the name. Hallelujah. Of the Lord on today. Come on and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you know that the enemy is defeated? Hallelujah. On today. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. You all for being here. I just want to give an official welcome to all of us who are here today. All of us. Hallelujah. Those of you who are watching live from around the world, God bless you and a happy new year. This is our first time we'll be greeting you. We greet you from Kingdom Apostolic Ministries International. Hallelujah. Here in the wonderful Bahama land. Hallelujah. We just want to give God thanks and give God praise. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, we just glorify your name. We just thank you, Lord God, for what you're about to do. Father, we thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders, Father. Father, we thank you for deliverance, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for healing, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, those who are on their side bed crying out to you, Father. We know that there is no distance, hallelujah, in prayer, Father. And so we thank you for moving by your mighty right hand. people arise, hallelujah, in this season and in this 2022, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is mighty and powerful, and who is undefeated, and who has given us all the victory, glory be to the name of the Lord, 
hallelujah, and said that greater works than this, hallelujah, we shall do because we are a part of the kingdom. And so, Father, we thank you for blessing this session, blessing, Lord God, every ministry, every person that is lifting up the name of Jesus. We declare that you have your way, Father. Have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you, Lord, hallelujah. You deserve all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Let your kingdom come in this place and on earth as it is, Lord God in heaven. And to you be all glory, honor, and power forever and ever. Amen and amen. Glory be. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Go ahead and clap your hands. Hallelujah to the Lord. I want to invite this mighty woman of God to come. Hallelujah. And she will share her powerful testimony. Hallelujah with us on this evening. And followed, hallelujah, by Prophet Strong, who is going to give us a word and bless. Hallelujah, the house. Let's give God a hand for her as she comes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Blessings of the Lord for His Amen. Yes. And His mercy. Yes. 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 My pastor, amen. Amen, Pastor Strong. Amen. Amen, too. Hallelujah. Praise amen. The God. Amen. 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 And the yes. COVID-19. Amen. Kicks in. Amen. Amen. Pastor. Isidore walking. Amen. She came to me that day. I was under the tent. Mm -hmm. And I was doing some souvenir. Mm -hmm. I made 90% of my jewelry. Mm -hmm. and, and the breeze was blowing so strong, Pastor Lightburn. Mm -hmm. She said to me, she said, I feel like I got the flu. I feel like I got the fever. So I said, why you come to me? I said, why you ain't going to check yourself out? But I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I was sitting here, and she was sitting there in the same way. She was sitting in the direction. Mm -hmm. She didn't have a mask on. Amen. And after that, she went, and I had sent her from about a week. I keep on calling her. She wouldn't respond. So I said, Pastor, something in my belly telling me something ain't right. Amen. I said, because something is wrong. I said, that is not her. Mm -hmm. We goes out to the full cell, do everything. To cut a long story short, mm -hmm. I, had, I said, I call Apostle Walken. Mm -hmm. So when he called Apostle Walken, Apostle Walken say, say, be sick. Oh, goodness. So he didn't explain, say, what he said. So somehow, our church member, to cut a long story short, our church member, Brother Ron, look at me and he say, say, Daddy, say, you look at me and he said, Mommy, you look right. All of my features change. Mm -hmm. I supposed to bring the poster so you all could see me. Mm -hmm. I went down almost small as my husband. Jesus. Oh, In less than four to five days, I wow. lose a lot of weight. Oh, uh, the, 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 the shade that I had on that was my husband's shade. He had to be 110 pounds. <laughs> so he's not that small. Mm -hmm. oh. So when I when they finally took me to the hospital, when the doctor did the test, they dropped the needle down in my wrist. And then they look, and then I look, I saw the lady coming with the book. So I said, don't tell me I got COVID. And, and the doctor asked me, the doctor dressed up in the white thing, all you can see too, but he said, you had been hit with COVID. And I listened, and he said, somebody been to your house and bring you COVID. Mm. Did you travel? I said, no, sir. So I said, a walking family been to my house. He said, where are they? Pastor Leibon, then the doctor said, where are they? The, the door opened from emergency. Who oh, they pushing out? Jesus. Oh. Pastor Isidore walking, was in the back there for the week, sick, wow. and couldn't call me and tell me, said she got COVID, go check wow. myself. When I look, who they pushing to put him to, to, to the foot of me? I was at the door, Apostle walking was to my foot. Apostle wow. walking, the doctor see them right there. He said, case closed. Oh, my God. And I'm a living testimony. Yeah, yeah. 
Amen. My lungs were shutting down. Jesus. Amen. My lungs were already shutting down. Amen. And when the doctor, I was like in and out, in and out. Yes. And I was listening to the doctor and hearing what the doctor has to say. But my focus was on Jesus. Because I know he tell me if I live right and I pray right, I can ask anything in his name. Amen. Amen. My lungs were shutting down Friday, shutting down Saturday, shutting down Sunday. Monday they transfer us in the ambulance. I was in and out. The members said, oh Lord, we lose and mommy. We lose and but it's gone. And I say, Nisi, my life is in God's hand. God got me. Amen. 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 I kicked myself back and I said, God help me. Amen. 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 And, and, and the young man who we were transported in the ambulance to get into the COVID center, when they when we reached them, Amen. They counseled me, they counseled Pastor Walken. And to the final way, the doctor said, Miss, when you come out here, go home to your house here. Yeah? You, when you come out, you go home to your house. Amen. Oh, and he said, this friendship ends today. Oh, goodness. And I wonder if the doctor used wisdom, but I was listening to the spirit. The doctor tried to tell me, if you look at it, this is your friend, and your friend had COVID, and she was in the hospital a week with Lord. COVID, and then called me to tell me to go check myself out. My Lord. And when they transfer us and they counsel us, they said, you was gonna be in this COVID place for four weeks, a month to three weeks. The treatment is up. So I look at the whole doctor team, Dr. Devo, Dr. Lewis, and different ones. I look at them, I say, yeah. I say, my mind, yeah. All right, you're gonna stay right there. I know. Greater doctor. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. They had the air number one to ask an emergency to the door. Pastor Apostle Brian walking was to my foot to ask an emergency door. Pastor Easy Door walking was on the side of me, the bed number two. And every day I bed. Get up and I had my suitcase packed with my shoes <laughs> and my foot. And every time the team come Monday, when they say you go be in here, so Dr. Stephen asked me, so, Mother Sloan, what you doing with your shoes and your foot here in the Sloan? I said, Doctor, can you see my suitcase packed and my shoes <laughs> and my foot? Faith, and I faith. going home. Yes. Faith. Yes. Amen. And I speak down Monday, I speak down Tuesday, I speak down Wednesday. Monday, the doctor, they do a test on my lungs when they admit me in there. Automatically, my lungs kick back in the first day. She's 90%. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. And you say my lungs kick back in another 7%. Oh, praise Dr. Lord. Dr. Stubbs and Dr. Lewis say, listen here. We come in Wednesday morning to do the final test on Amen. you. I said, Doctor, can you see my suitcase pack? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mm. And Wednesday morning, Dr. Lewis and Dr. DeVos say, Hell the strong. I say, Yes, ma'am. Say, You was the first one to do your COVID test. Walk from your bed straight to the bathroom, do two laps and come back. And then I was walking and I said, God, I thank you for doing it. Yeah. I said, God, Hallelujah. I thank you, Ben. Dr. Devo take my hand. Dr. Devo say, her lungs had kept back in 100%. Hallelujah! I thank you. Oh, have all this COVID place. Thank you. Mm. Amen. And I sing for the doctor and I sing for the night. I say, I am Lazarus. Jesus raised Lazarus in four days' time. Amen. Amen. I say, I spent four the day to make the four days. I come out that evening. But the COVID said, you're going to tell me, go on, can Hallelujah. I got hit with COVID. Prophet Patricia knows. Amen. Mm -hmm. She got hit. Elijah got hit. Mm -hmm. Amen. And all of those pastors. Yes, son. Pastor Craig yes, Cullen. Yes. Amen. They didn't survive. Yeah. Amen. While we was in there and after the emergency, people were dying from COVID. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when I was coming with the COVID center, they just announced a young man dead. Jeez. And I come out walking alive. You know, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 
Amen. 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 And God has been good to me. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 I lost so much weight. You know, I was good and nice and plump. <laughs> plump. And I got a lot of weight on me. That's all right. Oh, my no. neck and my hand. I'm the small, 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 small. Yes. Yes. But God is good. I try yes. to find this peace. I'm catching myself. Yes. Amen. My yes. other friends, them, they were hit with COVID. Amen. There's a lie, but some died. Mm. They didn't make it. Yes. Amen. I thank God for that. Thank God for my praying husband. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 I thought for reinforcement while yes. I was in there. Yes. yes. I'm bring past on that. This me in the bed number one. This mother walking in bed number two. I said, mother walking. If you will stay in this COVID setup, you can stay. Thank but you. I going home. Thank I said, you, you need to try to get up on the bed and try Jesus. walk with That's yourself. Right. I said, I ain't staying in here. Amen. And you all may hear different rumors and things out there. That's how you see how people talk and it's like, yeah, yeah. You have people that are not in up there, sir. The first day, wow. amen. Mm -hmm. Bed number one, bed number two, the lady because they had a layer like this. Mm. Jesus. And I said, Jesus. I come here to eat my food no, and see no thing of it. And, 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 and the, f the first day I pray for that woman, that woman, everything dry up. Dr. Lewis and Dr. De will say, when they come the next morning, the lady get up and bathe her own skin. Amen. 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 The Dr. T will say, say from two weeks ago, say some of these patients being in here and they hasn't get up to bathe. Jesus. Wow. Say, but this morning, they get up, they ask the lady, say, didn't I see you went to the bathroom? Hallelujah. She said, yes, ma'am, I went to the bathroom. We thought we see a ghost. But I pray for the whole Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. I pray for Pastor Walken. I stand on Pastor Walken. And I rebuke the spirit of death because all his features and everything is changed. He got hit the hardest, he'll tell you. He got hit the hardest. And I mean, he, he, he toy, pray, 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 pray. And you know, he's a dark person. Jesus. And I wave my hand. Over him, and he, when he came, he come looking for me, woman of God, and he said, "Woman of God, you know what happened? Say you got some power." Hey, hallelujah! Yeah. And he said, "That couldn't hold you in that COVID place." Mm -hmm. He said, "God had to wait for you to yes. do." Amen. He said, "If you to tell the people God sent you to the COVID center to pray for the patient, Amen. they will say I let you in there." Right. Say God will flip you. To <laughs> <Hallelujah>. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Me. Uh, uh, and I feel so sorry for she even tangled up herself in her her mm -hmm. cord whenever they yeah, had her. <laughs> yes. she was I said, Jesus, what it says. I hear the people saying that when it's be happening, when I see for myself, yes. when I look the woman on, on the ground and the sofa. Yes. The woman chest sound like a drum. Oh, but when you beat the drum, I never hear that cough in my born days. Oh, I said, yes. Jesus, what is this? The woman mm -hmm. trying to throw herself oh, yes, on the sir. ground. Speak it. And I said, Jesus, then the one up in the corner, coughing, 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 coughing. And when I said, I kicked myself back and I said, I speak to this coughing demon in the yes, name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. In less than 20 minutes, I got to go. Yeah. Cough, cough, cough. And the woman stopped. Amen. You know, Pastor Walker, he always called me, Amen, and said, I'm calling John Boyd. And he always tell me, he always called me. Sister strong on a mother strong on a prophet wife. But now, amen, he addressed me. Amen. He said, You are a prophetess. Amen. amen. They like pastor say. Yeah. He knew that a long time when he was playing crazy. That's all I keep saying. Hallelujah. God has to allow him to say it. He's afflicted, recognize who I am. That's right. Amen. Thank God for you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Prophet Strong. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Isn't God good? Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Somebody to clap his son, you find him. Give the Lord a clap of praise. I want to give the Lord a clap of praise on this evening. God is good. First, I must give my respect to God, who is in charge of me being yes, here on this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. And I want to thank God for Bishop Corley that allowing me to come, glory be to God. And just to say a few words. 
Glory be to God. Thank God for his beautiful wife. Amen. And thank God for the little angels is yeah. taking a nap. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Pastor Lightburn Amen. and my brother, Brother Casey. Yes. Thank yes. God for him in a special way that God is good and worthy to be praised. Amen. And thank God for one of the beautifulest women in the house, which is my wife, who God has given to me. December 11, God make me her 29 years of holy matrimony. Yes, but I thank God for her in a special way. Yeah, the devil tried to take her, but he couldn't take her because she had a praying husband. Yes. And, 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 and then I tell her when she takes sick, I said, We can call for Packer. Yes. I can't do it alone myself, but I need Packer. Yes. Somebody give God a praise. Yes. Somebody give God a praise, but I thank God for her in a special way. Yes. God from my next comment. I tell you, Pastor, Pastor Lightborn, we are the time. Amen. You might see me dress like this. I dress from, I come straight from church. Amen. Amen. God is good. God is good. Oh, my God. brother and my, my brother in the gospel call and say, we, we are in service three o'clock and I need you to be here. I say, I will be here. I say, but only one problem. I don't have no ride. Because my ride is done. He said, I will be there for you. But I thank God for him Amen. in a special way. Yes. Glory be to God on watch night. I tell we had a time on watch night, and I tell you, I preach from the book of St. John, chapter 14, and, 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 and the topic was God got this one. Somebody give God a prayer, and I think I can, be, I can use the same thing today. God got this one. Somebody say praise the Lord. Somebody say praise the Lord. Most gracious and wise God in the heaven as I come before your presence, Lord God, today. Father God, with nothing in my hands that I bring, but suddenly I come to the cross, realizing, no God, that you are the porter and I am the clay. Father God, move Jason Hubert Sean off the yes. side. And God, may let your spirit, Lord God, come alive. Lord God, let flesh die and your spirit will come alive today. Father God, I come, Lord God, not with answer in your speech, but God, I come just as I am today. Father, in the name of Jesus, the hearers, Lord God, Bless the heroes, Lord God, at this time, right now, God, we say thank you. And somebody clap his hand by hands and give God a clap of praise on today. Somebody that give God a clap of praise. St. John chapter 14 says, Let not your heart be troubled. For he believed in God, believed also in me. That in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, that I would have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. Somebody clap your hands and give God a prayer. God got this one. Somebody give God a prayer. God got this one. I don't know about you, but we living in a day and a time, hallelujah, where the world is turning upside down. But you got to realize, you know, if God got you covered, you covered from the hands of the enemy. Somebody give God a pray. God got this one. Somebody give God a pray. You got to realize to you know this world that we are living in is not our home. Somebody give God a pray. God got this one. Our glory will let not your heart be troubled. Sometimes our heart got trouble over the cares of the world. Sometimes our heart got trouble over, over our sons, over our daughters. But I come to let you know today God got this one. This one is in the hands of God. Get this one is in the palm, in the hands of God. Somebody give God a pray. You got to realize you know God got this one today. Somebody give God a pray. Somebody give God a pray. Uh, I can let my heart be troubled in this day, this time. I'm going to hold on to God on Jesus' hand. Because realize you know that the grace is not given unto the swimmer. Neither the battle is unto the strong. But those that endure to the end, God got this one. Somebody give God a pray. Somebody give God a pray. God got this one. God got this one. Pastor, what God got? What God got? God got, God got you the palm of his hand. I'm the most shut up. When the devil try to mess with your children, God I got this one. When the devil try to mess with your money, God I got this one. When the devil try to mess with your husband, God I got this one. Somebody kill God to pray. When the devil try to mess with your pastor, God I got this one. How no fair. God got this one. And my time almost gone. I feel God right about here. Somebody give God a pray. You looking at a man who glowed with the God, who the doctor that give up with prostate cancer, and God healed my body. Cause God said, I got this one. This one, you know, nothing.
nothing to do with you. Do nothing like King of Lord of God. Do nothing like coronation. Because God got this one. Somebody can call. Oh, God, I feel God here. God got this one. God got this one. And the Lord shut up. The fiend work in your body. And you don't know what to do. Remember, God got this one. Because God is a healer. And the Lord shut up. In the book, hallelujah. In the book of my Isaiah said, He was wounded for our transgression. And he will prove for our iniquity. They are chastised. And he said, By his stripe, you are healed. God got this one. He is from water. He is in the mind. Somebody give God a praise. He is from water. He is in the body. My body is healed. My mind is healed. Somebody give God a praise. God got this one. And why God got this one? Don't let your hand get troubled. Hold on to God and treat it hard. Got the race is not given unto the trippers, and neither the conquerors is given to the strongest. But don't get it covered up to the end. I feel God here. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. God got this one. God heals me. God heals me for prostate, prostate cancer. And if God can do it for me, God can do it for you. I come to let you know. 2022 is your year, but you got to hold on to God, or treat it hard, don't let go of God, if, you, if your husband gone, hold on to God, if your wife gone, hold on to God, if your children gone, hold on to God, if your money I can have, hold on to God, and God will, he said in this word, I will supply all of your need, Glory. God got this one. Somebody clap his hand my hand and give God a praise. God got this one. Hold on. Time is not long now. But you gotta hold on. Because God got this one. I'm gonna cut. God glory be to God. Hold on, straight. God got this one. God got it in your hand. I'm the most shadow. In the book of Hallelujah 22 Psalm. So the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want, because he's making me to lie down in green pastures. God got this one. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. In the book of Psalm 121, See, I will look up, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. For wretch coming, my help is coming from the Lord. God got this one. At the most shatter. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. I can't be telling you today. I can't be telling you this evening. God got this one. I don't care what sickness you're going through. God is a healer. You might be going through a sickness of cancer. God is a healer. You might be going through a sickness of sugar diabetes. God got this one. You might be proud, God. You might have everything might turn it against you. But if you don't know Jesus, you need to get to know Jesus. He's knocking at your door. He said, come on to me. Holy I labor. And I have been laid out. And I will give you rest. God got this one. See you tomorrow night by the will of the Lord. Mighty God, Hallelujah! Jesus, I thank you now. Thank you. God is good. Come on, say God is good. God is good. God is good to me. How can I let him down? How can I let him down? How can I let him down? He's been so good to me.
Just clap to your feet and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. What a joy it is to be here today in the presence of the Lord as we begin this first year. Hallelujah. We bring greetings to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody touch your neighbor and say greetings. Just bump them, bump them. I know, I know COVID protocol. Just say greetings in Jesus' name and say it's good to see you. Amen. Uh, oh, tell somebody else, it's good to see you tonight. Hallelujah. We made it out. Turn to your next day and say, we made it through 2021 by the grace of God. Come on, by the grace of God, we made it through 2021. Hallelujah. You heard the testimonies. Hallelujah. So, uh, delivered from prostate cancer. Can I get a witness? Some of you from COVID. Some of you from your dead man. Some of us were, you know, from death. Hallelujah. From pain. From shame. From, hallelujah. He just turned our sorrows. Hallelujah. And I want to let you know uh, the Lord said, those who made the sacrifice to come tonight, there's a special blessing for you. Amen. I tell you, the Lord told me to tell you, those who made the sacrifice, come on, help me, somebody, Tracy. Some of you at the last minute made the sacrifice to be here, hallelujah, to come back and to step up by faith. And the Lord said he's not going to disappoint you tonight. Amen. Amen. The Lord said he's not going to disappoint you tonight. The Lord said he's not going to disappoint you tonight. Amen. If, if, if you're watching live here uh, on whatever media, hey, the Lord is going to speak to your heart tonight. Amen. If you have your phones and somebody uh, didn't know about this, you can let them come quickly before the man. You just have a few minutes because we're going to let this man of God come on here in a few minutes. Hallelujah. And so we greet you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You can just stand for the Who of the sin can sit? But if you can stand, just stand straight yourself a little yeah, bit. Yeah. We amen. young people, amen? Oh, yeah. We young people, just stretch out. Just stretch out wherever you are. Just stretch out. I want to thank you uh, uh, on behalf of Cami and uh, Shalewa and I and ministry and to greet you all for coming here and being your friends and family and love on all of you. Uh, family to me. Amen? amen? And so when I thought about those who I call, I thought about you. Amen? amen. We prayed and we said, Lord, who did? And the Lord said, you special people. Yeah. Just just call these set of people. Yeah. We know we had limited and the rest said they would watch it live. Amen. And but I wanted just some special friends yeah. who have been dead to me in 2021 who we shared, we talked and we fellowship. Or uh, just one thing or the other, the Lord just said, how do you come? Hallelujah. And uh, you made it. Touch it and say, I made it out. I touch it and say, I made it out. Hallelujah. And I want your expectation high, uh, very high, because the Lord is a special Lord. And He promised in 2022 some big things are about to happen. Amen. Just scoot over. We're going to make space. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Don't worry about nothing. You just trust God. You'll be saying, hey, God bless you. And to all of man, I don't want to get in trouble. Pastors, uh, apostles, prophets, prophets, pastors, yeah. evangelists, yeah. teachers, yeah. saints of God. You know who you are. All you need is if I get in trouble, and for God, God bless you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pastor, evangelist, teacher, man, the Lord yeah. God, saints of God, yeah. leaders, yeah. hallelujah, friends, yeah. hallelujah, wherever you are in your respect places in the kingdom and in the hallelujah. body of Christ as we start off this new year. Yeah. Hallelujah. We, we Listen, this is a, a step of faith. Say step of faith. Step of faith. Amen. And I'm going to tell you about the speaker in a minute and I'm going to let him rip it off in a few Amen. minutes. This is man of God. Let me tell you something. You know, in this season, you may have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Just give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. You know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, I thought on it last night. God is getting ready to do the five P's in your life. Amen? Hallelujah. That's the right. provision. Say provision. Provision. Protection. Protection. Uh, 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 a place. The place. Where you need to be. Amen. Uh, 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 what else I said? The place. The people. To bring you into your purpose. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Say, God, you're going to do it in this year. Now, I don't lie with the word, and I don't play with the word, and let me tell you something. You know, as a dear friend of mine uh, from the Bahamas in the U.S. right now, a prophetess Miller, Paula Miller, some of you might have met her, we met many years ago doing some uh, ministry conferences. And I tell you, we shared over the years, but I don't think she's been back in Freeport in years. Amen? Mm -hmm. And um, she called and we were sharing. 
what a woman of vision, amen? God have some people in his kingdom, amen? Oh, yes. And she said, listen here, this is the end of the year. I want you to uh, meet somebody special. I said, oh my goodness, oh, this is December. This is Christmas, we get ready to have Christmas and New Year. Oh my goodness. So she told me about this wonderful man of God and he called, or I called, somehow we connected and we were sharing, man, the man of God is so filled, amen? Oh my goodness, so filled. I know we're gonna be blessed. He's here for a few days and uh, I saw his bio and I went on this page and we began to share and talk and I said, I remember this man of God. And for many years he traveled with Miles Monroe around the world, amen, teaching, preaching and ministry. I said, man of God, it's just, you know, Freeport is a small city. He said, that's all right, we're coming, I'm coming. Amen. Come on, touch some praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. The Lord is thinking about this island, amen? Yes, yes. The Lord, I'm telling you, it's not, if we don't want it to be a magic city anymore, because magic is witchcraft, amen? That's right. I, this can't be a magic city as long as we're here, amen? Glory, glory. It will never be a magic city. Glory. Tell him I said that. But this will be a righteous city, amen? Yes, Because magic has to do with what? Witchcraft oh, yes. and oh, yes. smells and wickedness, amen? Who do it all there? So whoever named this magic city, tell them, we are changing that, amen? Hallelujah. It's not going to be the magic city. It's going to be the holy city. The glory city, oh yeah. And uh, I spoke to Dr. Hill, and uh, we began to look and share and pray. And he, you know, shares around the world. He was just in Nigeria for a month last, just in November. Before that, he's been all throughout South Africa, yeah. all throughout Africa, all throughout the U.S. He's from Tampa, but he's traveled all over. He was with uh, Dr. Bunro that year, and he was supposed to fly because Dr. Bunro Many people didn't know that, and I just shared this. He just shared, I know he wouldn't mind me sharing that. He was supposed to be on the plane coming over here with Dr. Munro. The, the plane seated 10 people. He was, uh, nine people died. He was supposed to be the 10th. Lord is good. But right before that, a week before, he had planned to go to Nassau and fly over here to meet them at the conference. He got a call in Arkansas Jesus. to speak to all the schools there in Arkansas. Oh, God. He goes around the schools teaching, sharing. Yes. And, uh, and that Friday when he got the call, his mentor, his pastor, who he was with for over 20 something years, and we were talking about Virtual Baird and Turnell Nelson, the late apostles of Trinidad. But when I studied down there, I sat under there, but he traveled and ministered. He's a, he's a pastor. He's ordained, uh, Dr. Munro and uh, some of the other leaders ordained him, released him, set him on. He's a musician. He's written, we were talking him, 500 songs. Oh he has his own publishing and record label. So guess what this week he's gonna pour in on leadership and entrepreneurship one day. And uh, you know the song, It's a New Season. I know Israel Horton rewrote it, but he wrote one, he wrote that song. And his company, who he sang with, with the Winans, the record label he was with, with the Winans, and they sold that song to uh, Brother Horton, and you know what happened after that. But he's written songs because of about four books he brought. It's just a blessing. And I told him, brother, he said, I want to come. I said, brother, it's Christmas, man. It's the new year, man. They ain't going to be. He said, I'm coming. Amen. I said, brother, I got to get all the people ready. And so he said, I'm coming on the first. He ministered last night to, to Miller's ministry watch night. Uh, he was supposed to be here yesterday. Uh, but when he got there, they had some issue with the COVID visa. And so, thank God he's here today. He came today, straight from the airport, straight from the hotel. He wanted to come straight here. I said, no man, rest, catch yourself. Uh, we'll sort of everything. So by the time you come, you'll be blessed. Now listen to this man of God. I already told my wife, I'm going to be pulling everything from him. Amen. <laughs> and you know, the speakers, they need an actual money. He said, I'm coming. I'm going to bless the Bahamas. Bless the city. He didn't ask for a dollar. That's right. He didn't ask for no honorarium. He said, brother, just wherever you have me, just whatever you do, just bless me. I said, this is a man of God. Amen. That's what I knew. Amen. Yes. Said, but guess what? I plan to bless him and I want you to help me. Amen. Amen. Because this type of gifting. You know, it costs thousands of dollars. 
Amen. And I know it's the first day, but hey, we can have tonight. Tomorrow night, he's going to be back. He has some songs to sing, but we're going to set up the sound proper tomorrow night. He's going to sing tonight, and we'll give him, turn this over now. And, and, and uh, tomorrow, what tomorrow is Monday night. I know it's your holiday, but press and bring someone up. Tuesday night, ain't no holiday in the work of the Lord. Through the day, I'm going to call some of you because he's doing an exclusive leadership training uh, for those of uh, you who call and want to just you know, develop all the tips and then an entrepreneur. How many of your business people in here? I think I see half of you in here, more than half. He's going to give us some tips, what he learned over many years, having his own record label, Amen. his own publishing company, and, and, and doing business around the world. Amen? Amen. And so we're going to glean on that. And one thing I told him, he just, just needs an hour or so to do it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbors, I'm so happy you want me here tonight. I'm so happy I'm here tonight. Won't you stand on your feet and let's take this time out to just, I don't know. I feel so honored, really. It's just a few people I feel honored with, but I mean, he didn't even say all of this. Just reading his bio and learning about him and sharing, I didn't realize, I don't know what God is doing. But the Lord is up to something big. Yes. Amen? Amen? He loves you so much that he has sent someone from around the world Jesus. who churches would be calling for by the thousand just to come and be with us. Amen? Look at your neighbors. I don't know about you, know but you're really special, you're really special. To, the Lord. to the Lord. Amen. 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 Without further ado, I want you to put your hands together and bless this man of God, this kingdom leader, this psalmist, this songwriter, this book writer, this teacher, amen, ministry trained, and he has his doctrine in divinity ministry, and uh, has been fully mentored in the things of God. Give him a wonderful grand Bahama welcome. Come on, you from Tampa Bay uh, area to be with us tonight. Amen. Would you receive him as he just blesses us in the Lord. Amen. 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 Let me use this with me until, until we check one, two. Check one, two. Let me do this real quick. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lord. Amen. 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 Now, forgive me. I'm going to have to. I'm, it's going to be like uh, um, you're going to like really, really know who I am right now. I'm going to have to do what I would normally do. You can just be seated for a minute. You're going to have to just watch me as I. I, as I uh, as I kind of set up here, I, 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 Pastor, Pastor will tell you, I was ready to come straight from the airport, yeah. straight here. I was like, Pastor, I need to go, I need to go straight there, because I, I, I like to do everything in excellence, and I wanted to set up and have everything ready. He said, oh, no matter, God, oh, no matter, God, you, you need to go, go to the room, man. You need to go and relax in the room, brother, and just, just get settled, brother, it's going to be all right. I said, Pastor, I really want to go to the church and get set up. Oh, no matter, God, yeah, amen. So, so now you guys are kind of watching what we normally do before we do the do, okay? Yeah. Amen, amen. And so here's what, Pastor, let me ask you if you can do this. Amen, because I want, I, amen. I don't, I only have one, I tell people I don't have an A, B, C kind of a program. I only have one A. Come on, I don't do, I don't do it. Come on, I don't care where I'm at. I, amen, amen. I, I'm always want excellence and I want it, I want it to be right. I'm going to act like there's a million people in here tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, amen. Amen. So give me just one minute and um, and here, Pastor, let me ask you this question here. Can you plug that in? Have, have, have this, this this speaker right here. Can can you plug that in? Can you do that for me? Y'all just just it's gonna be up. Look at somebody close and he, he everybody said he's cooking it up, y'all. He gonna cook it up. Y'all know, y'all know when mama in the kitchen and it takes a little while. Come on, you know it's gonna come out right, you know? Okay, so we 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 cooking it up. Amen. I wish I was like this brother right here. Y'all give him a hand cup. He was awesome. Amen. 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 What a word, brother. What a word. Amen. And uh, I like it when I get people like him. They just grab the microphone and they just go. You know, and people like me, we got to, you know what I'm saying? We got to, we got to set it up. We need 45 minutes. We need, come on, we need to pray in tongues for 25 minutes. We need to go to the back. You know what I'm saying? People like you, you just grab the microphone. Let me go. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Give me a minute here. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Yes, sir. Okay, Pastor, is this, is this, That's all. Is, is it on yet? Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, it's not on yet. Is there a button? Okay. Okay, I'm trying something here, y'all. We gonna try something? Amen. How many know you never know until you try it? Huh? Yes, amen. 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 We gonna all learn something in about one minute here. We gonna see if it works. If we see smoke coming out of it, we know run. 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 <laughs> if you see smoke, yes, run, run. everybody said run. run. <laughs> Don't wait for somebody to tell you, brother, there's smoke. Run. Run. Just run. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We gonna try this. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We'll see. We're going to see. Hallelujah. Say it with me, say it with me. 
said let heaven free. Let heaven free. Come on, in 2022, let heaven free. Let the word of the Lord be fulfilled. Let the word of the Lord be fulfilled in all the earth. In all the earth. Come on, say it again. Let heaven free. Come on, say it again. Say what? Let heaven free. Speak glory to my church. Speak glory to my church. mentioned I was just in Nigeria for about a month. I do in the, in the month of November and I'm December. Amen. I do uh, those months. I, I call it what we call my months of giving back. Amen. Amen. How many know when God has been a blessing to you, you want to be a blessing? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Amen. 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 So for the month of November and December, we do a thing called give. Everybody say give thanks. Everybody say give thanks. Give praise. Give back. Give thanks. Give praise. And what? And give back. How many know, amen, that's the key to being blessed. Amen. Man, you give thanks. Come on, come on. God, I thank you. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on God, I thank you for the little things. God, God, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. God, I thank you for your safety. Come on, I thank you for your protection. I thank you for leaving. Thank you for taking care of my family. Just, God, I thank you for meeting on my knees. I just thank you. Amen, amen. And so we give thanks and we give praise. Come on, come on. Y'all give them a praise offer right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That you push through all of last year. Start even start the year and give it back. Come on, and give it thanks and give it praise and what? And give what? Give back. And then I believe that, amen. That, in fact, let me say this, and I'll probably say it in one of the workshops. I want you to hear what I'm going to say right here. What you do in the first quarter, like I said this last night, I shared with in the, in the New Year's Eve service. I said, how you go out the year has everything to do with how you what? Come yeah. in the new year. Yeah, Come on, how you go out? How you go out? Has everything to do with how you come in. Amen. How many of you know, amen, it's important to go out with a shout? How many of you know what? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, y'all. I'm not going to be here all night. Come on, come on. I can all go out with a shout. Can I get two people who would just go out with a shout? Come on, go. Despite what happened, what did not happen, what you wanted to see, what you didn't see, come on, somebody. I'm still going out what? with a shout. More than that, how many of you are coming in with a shout? Come on. I'm going out. Everybody say, I'm going out. I'm going out. And I'm coming in. Because he said, you're blessed coming in and you're blessed going out. Yeah. So I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to be blessed going coming out of 21. 21. I'm going to be blessed coming into what? Into 22. Amen. 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 So you want to show that. But here's something that I'm going to share when we do these workshops. And I'm asking you to be here. Yeah. I'm going to ask you. Now, we would normally do, and the pastor going to see how we can set it up. Uh, we normally do, I bring my own projector with me. And we normally do a, power, a PowerPoint presentation. That means you're going to see everything on the wall. That means you're going to take notes and, and amen. But amen, amen. I believe that if you want to go to the next level, there needs to be an impartation. Amen. Come on, look, do me a favor, look at somebody say, if you want to go to the next level, there must be another.
another impartation. You'll never go to the next level without another impartation. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And one of the things that uh, Pastor Mitch and I traveled with the late Dr. Miles Monroe, and I traveled with him for 25 years. But every every January, I would always be with Dr. Miles Monroe. And he would do these, he would do, the, of course, the big meetings, and we would be in large churches, but he would do small little workshops, amen, a small little workshops to, 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 to give people what I call, in, it would be enrichment building, helping them to build up mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and getting them ready for the, for the, for the new year. And so I, I'm, I'm doing a seminar called Setting the Course for Your Future. Set, oh, come on, y'all, come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to be two days. I'm doing Setting the Course. If I say Set the Course. Course for the future. Come on, come on. How many know there's things that you can do to set yourself up to succeed? There's some things that you can do to set yourself up to be. Oh, come on, y'all. I got to hurry up. I got to hurry up. Come on, do me a favor. Look at the person next to you. I'm going to be right where I want to be. Come say, because I'm going to set it up and he's going to set it off. <laughs> I'm going to be right where I want to. You know what? One of the things that I share with, and, and I do motivational workshops across the country, especially with the young people, I do it with staff, and, and I go into corporate. American Express had me do a corporate. They, they had me come in for their, for, the, for their entire team, for their staff. I get school administrators who have me come in for nothing but their staff. And one of the things that I share with people is that, you know what? Success is not, does not happen by chance. Come on. Success is not, it's not something that you just stumble over into. You plan. Come on. There you go. You got to plan. Oh, come on, y'all. Come on, come on. You got to plan your success. Come on, come on. You got to plan. You know, there's a phrase that we say that says, if you fail to plan, thank you. Come on, come on. If you fail to plan, you plan to what? To fail. So you can literally plan your course of where you want to be six months from now. Come on, y'all. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. And we're gonna go down that list, and we're gonna do, the, we're gonna go line upon line, precept upon precept of how you can plan and set yourself up for success. How many want to set yourself up that you can be totally debt free? Come on, I, Talk, oh, I got two people. I, I must be in the wrong church. I, 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 I'm not in the right place, Pastor. Come on, come on. Come on. How many want to set yourself up? Come on, y'all. That you have more than enough instead of not, not, not enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How many want to set yourself up? That you are operating in the overflow. Oh, come on, come on. I gotta hurry up. Come on, y'all. Come on. Do you hear what I'm saying? And, and I know we hear that song. You know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the overflow. I'm in the overflow. I'm in the flow. I'm in the overflow. But how many you know you could be saying that and it never happened? Come on. You gotta set yourself up. You gotta come on, y'all. You gotta do the necessary things to get you to where you need to go. Come on. And you know what? In order for that to happen, you be a favor. Look at somebody tell you, you gotta sacrifice something. Come on. You gotta give up something to get something. Say it again. You gotta give up something to Amen. You got to give up something. Amen. To get something, and if you want God to interrupt, if you want, if you want a God, what I call a God moment, which is an interruption where God comes in and interrupts and intercepts and intervenes on your behalf, then you know what? Then you must also be willing to interrupt your own schedule. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Let me say it again. You, if I'm, if I'm by video, I want you to hear what I just said by video. Okay. Read the words that are coming out of my mouth. You got to be willing to interrupt your schedule. Yes. Come on, if you want Him to interrupt His schedule for you. A lot of people want miracles. They want breakthrough. They want favor. They want God to do stuff for them. Come on, y'all. But God said, you're not willing to interrupt your schedule. Hey, so I... That's true. Amen. Amen. So you got to plan your success. You got you to gotta plan. You got you to, gotta, amen, strategically. Amen. That's why. In, 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 fact, in fact, somebody said, well, why do I have to plan? God, God has done everything. Well, why would he say write the vision and make it plain? Thank you. That's right. Why would he say write the vision? So when he said, look, look at the person next to you and there's something you got to do. Come on, y'all. There's something. There's something you got to do. Amen. I know he's done it all, but God said, come on. God, I always tell people that, that, that you're not serious 
about something until you write it down. Hallelujah, that's right. Everybody said, write it down. And then everybody said, go in your pocket and invest in it. You ain't shit. Y'all gonna get real quiet up in here now. Come on, come on, come on. I'll say it again. I'll tell anybody. You're not serious about something until you write it down and you're willing to go in your pocket and put the money on it. Come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Amen. You I tell people all, all the, I hear people I can do this and I'm headed I'm saying, no, no, no. Have you written it down? Have you write have you written it down? And then have you taken the next step and you invest in it? Come on. You invest in it. How many know if you're involved in a relationship, they can tell you all day long, I love you, I got you, I'm with you, you bring I know come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But until they what? Come on, until they write it down and until they come out of their pocket and take you to dinner. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You should come on, come on. It's not enough that you say you love me. The faith without works is what? Yeah. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, come on, come on. Amen, amen. So what I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that if you want God to interrupt his schedule, you got to be willing to interrupt what? Your schedule. Interrupt, amen. Amen. I, mean, I tell you, it's like I tell you when young people in the public, in, well, in, in what we call our public schools in America, I tell young people, I say it's about sacrifice. Yeah. You got to be willing to exchange yeah. something. Yeah. And the biggest thing that you can exchange is your time. That's true. Exchange yeah. your time. I would rather, I would rather, I, I would rather uh, exchange and sacrifice two hours of my time. Come on, y'all. Yeah. That is going to set me up for the rest of the year. Come on, then, come on, come on. Come on. Than to stay at home and then wonder what's gonna happen in the year. Come on, I, I, come on, I, look at somebody next to me. Tell me, I don't know about you. I'm not gonna be wondering and I'm not gonna be slumbering in 22. Come on, I'm gonna be all. Oh, I got two people. I need two people who say I'm gonna be right on the money. Come on, y'all. I'm gonna be. Come on, I'm gonna walk in a bullseye anointing. Come on, y'all. I'm gonna walk like David walked when he slayed the giant. I'm walking in a bullseye. I'm not. There's gonna be clarity. There's gonna be accuracy. I, oh, come on, somebody. I, come on. I may have missed it last year, but I don't intend to repeat this. Yeah. 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 Amen. Look at the person next to I am not a repeat offender of foolishness and mistake. Come on, I'm not gonna repeat foolishness and mistake. I'm not gonna, I may have made it in 21, but in 22, I'm not gonna, come on, come on, come on. I'm not gonna repeat the same thing. So you gotta be willing to do what? Make an exchange. One of the things that I'm gonna share with the young people, I'm gonna share this with them. Well, I shared it, this is one thing I shared in the, in the school system. And I'm going to give you more of my testimony throughout the, the workshop. Yes. I was functionally illiterate. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't understand that, hmm. functionally illiterate, that means I could not read at all. Yeah. That's right. That's wow. what it is. I could not read at all. Mm -hmm. I fell the fifth grade. Come on. And I fell the sixth grade. Oh God. Do me a favor. Look at somebody say, if God can use him, he can use anybody. He can use anybody. Now, I'm just giving you part of my testimony. Now, here's the deal. I love music. I come from a musical family. I come from Detroit, Michigan. I was raised up with the Wayans and BB and CC and, 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 and the Clark sisters and Fred Hammond, all these people. I knew them. We went to school together, all of them. And we would get together and I would do music. I played four instruments, keyboards, bass, drum, saxophone. I was a musician from. Look, look, from a little kid, my mother was a gospel recorder. She had a song I called, He Keeps Doing Great Things For Me. My mother recorded that song over 50 years ago. So I was, I came up in a musical family. But even in the midst of that, amen, amen, I, I could not read. And I couldn't write. I was struggling in school. I had the gift. Come on. I had the gift, but I didn't have the knowledge. Oh, I got two people. Come on, y'all. Oh, come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Somebody here. That's why you gotta get some of your young people out here to hear like to hear me this week. Give your young people who are struggling with their academics. So, come on, you need to come on, little voice. You need to hear this man right here. Come on, come on, come on. Let me say it again. I had the gift. Come on, but I lack the knowledge. Come on. And the Bible says people are what destroyed what for the lack of knowledge. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. But do me a favor. Look at the person next to I know you got the gift, but that's not enough. You gotta have the knowledge. Come on. Come Come on, come on. You gotta come on. You oh, come on, come on. You can't come on. Let me, let me come on. Let me come to the camera again. Come on. Come on, come on. I don't care how 
gifted you are. I don't care. Come on, you can play like Michael Jordan and, and Tiger Woods and LeBron James. I don't care. Come on, you can sing like an angel. But if you don't have the knowledge to go with that gift, come on. If you don't have the character to go with that gift, come on, come on. It's a, it's, it's a matter of time before you ultimately, ultimately fall. You got to have the gift. You have to have the knowledge as much as you have the gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amen. I had the gift. I could sit in with any musician. I played with so many musicians, but I was struggling in my academics. My teacher, a turning point in my life, and I'll, tell, I'll give you more of my testimony later on. Here, look at me. I'm holding up these books right here. These books. I got these books. These are my books right here. And you're going to get a lot of information out of these books right here. This book right here, of course, of course it's called Life Without Limits right here. Life Without Limits. This book right here is called Daddy Talk. Daddy Talk. It's my, it's my mentorship book. And man, I'll talk to you more about that book right there. This book right here is called A God Moment. A God Moment. And here's what happened to me. I was in class with the, in, 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 in America, we have what we call us. We have what we call, a, the, they call it the, 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 the special class. We call it the special ed. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all may not have that term over here. Have it you, you have it here. Yeah. So special ed is everywhere. Yeah, come on, come on. So I was in my music. And, and, and one day the teacher came in and she knew, Pastor, that I was struggling with my, my academic. She came to me, she says, Little Forest, she never did call me by, by my right name. My name is Ferris. She said, Little Forest, Little Forest. <laughs> I was like, I ain't gonna never graduate from this class. So, come on, teacher can't even get my name right. Come on. She said, Little Forest, if you would be willing to give up your music for the course of this school year, if you just give up your music, just give up, and, and, and God spoke to her. He, she knew that I loved my music. She said, if you, and it was like she was saying, if you would present your, your music, put your music at the altar. Yeah. Lay your, oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. Do, do me a favor, look at the person that said, the key to getting what you want is to give up what you need. Come on, come on. The key, come on, everybody said, and then let's turn around. Everybody said, the key to getting what you need is give up what you want. Everybody said, make an exchange. That means you got to want, that, come on, I want this, I want this. But come on, God says, if you want that, if you're willing to give up what you want, I'll give Give you what you need. Oh, give you what you need. That's right. And she looked at me, and 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 this was I was just, I was 11 years of age. I don't even know she even what what church she went to. I know she was a born again believer, but she said, "Son, if you would be willing to make an exchange," and she said, "If you put your music down," and then she said, "Son, if you begin to just pick up your books, give me your oh come on somebody." She says, "If you," she said, "Give me three months." To the forest. Give me three months. Pick up the book. Put the music down. Lay your music. Come on. We would say, lay your music at the altar. Come on, somebody. Look at somebody say, can you lay it at the altar? Come on. Tell me, say, can you rock? You know what? Let me tell you this. this and I'm going to give you this little word right here. Because God had me go. He had me go to straight to this year. And, and, and for some reason. And I'm going to just give it to you. And I'm going to give it a short. I'm going to give you a short version of it. He had me go to, to Genesis 22. Yeah. Now Genesis 22. He gave me. There's three scriptures he gave me. That started with two. That, that, that had to do with, two, with the, the number 22. So the first one was Genesis 22. Now if you know the story about Genesis 22. You know that. That was a scripture. Of Abraham doing what? What did Abraham do? Abraham, if you read Genesis 22, Abraham offered up his son. He was taking his, up his son and offering him up as a sacrifice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He was offered up as a sacrifice. Amen. Now, now you know the story. Amen. Amen. And you know that God, he, God knew he loved his son. Come on. Come on. That was the best he had. But Abraham, out of obedience, come on, out of obedience, God was testing his heart to see where his heart is. Come on, come on. See, God. God knows, God, God knows what he, he, he knows your heart by what you're willing to give up, come on, yeah. by what you're willing to put at the altar. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And God gave me this word. He said, He said, He said, if you want to better you in 22, you gotta be willing to give up something that you love the most. Come on, come on. Let me say it again. Ain't nobody preaching like that. Let me say it again. If you want 22 to be a brand new, better you, God said, you gotta be willing to give up what you love to get what you need. Yeah. That's right. And 
it talks about what? It talks about right before Abraham was getting ready to take his son's life. Amen. You know the story. It says what? Then what? God says, hold on, don't do it. He said, He said, don't, Abraham, don't do it. Don't, yeah, don't, don't do it. And don't, don't do it. And then so he said, he, Amen. He he asked Israel, what is the sacrifice? And God presented what? A ram in the bush. Come on. A what? A ram. Look at the question that says that. God get ready to present. God get ready to present a ram in the bush. Come on, come on. God get ready to present a ram in the bush. Tell us that person say, your ram in the bush is coming. Come on. Your ram in the bush is coming. Your ram in the bush is coming. Whatever you need is coming. Come on, come on. Whatever you've been looking for is coming. Your ram. Yes. Yes. That's my husband. Your husband. Oh, well, the ram is coming. <laughs> the ram is coming, girl. The ram in the bush is coming. The ram in the bush is coming. Come on, come on, come on. The ram in the bush. What am I saying to you? I need two people to act like what I know about. God says, when you would willing enough to sacrifice and give them what you love the most, God says, I'm going to present the ram in the bush. Whatever you want, come on. Whatever you want, willing, willing to make the exchange to make the sacrifice. God said, I will give you the ram in the bush. Amen. I want you to look at two people and tell them the ram in the bush is about to appear. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. Do I need to go back to America? Let me say that one more time. The ram in the bush. Come on, tell somebody said the ram in the bush is about to appear. Come on, the ram in the bush is all you need. The ram in the bush is getting ready to come forth. The ram in the bush. Come on, the ram in the bush. The ram in the bush to provide for you, to take care of you. The ram in the bush is about to appear. The ram in the bush. Because the ram in the bush represented the presence of God. Come on, somebody. The ram in the bush. Come on, come on. The ram in the bush. The ram in the bush. Come on. The miracle you need. Come on, come on. The breakthrough that you need. Come on, come on. It's right there. It's right there. But God said you can't have it until you're willing to do what? Offer up. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Yeah, man. Oh, see, there's a lot of people talking about in 22. I'm going to get this. I'm going to do this. But God says it won't happen. Until you willing to make an exchange, until you willing to say, "Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, make it." It's almost like Pastor has me coming in. My Lord, you know the best time, the best time, and then you know what? The, the, the best time. I had a brother who, 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 um, and uh, I don't think it, uh, brother Ricardo, Prophet Ricardo, uh, in, 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 in Fort Lauderdale. He called me and he said, he said, he says, he says, Dr. Hill, he says, he says, he says, I need a breakthrough in my finances. And, and he said, I said, I said, yeah. He said, he said, the Lord told me to sow some seed into you. Mm -hmm. He said, sow some. I said, why are you going? He said, this is the best time for me to sow the seed because I got a need. And he said, he said, I'm believing God for my business and my business to grow. And he said, he said, all I have right now, all I have is seed. That's all I have. And my seed ain't going to take it. It's not enough for me to take care of everything. So he said, I'm going to take my seed and I'm going to sow it and I'm going to put it in the ground. So God, come on, come to him. So God can bless him. See, the average mind, the average person, well, like Pastor said that earlier when he was getting ready to introduce me, when he said, you know what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We just got out of Christmas. That's you know, right. people don't spend the money. Right. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is not a good time. This is New Year. No, 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 no. But he looked beyond that. Come on, come on, come on. He said, no, 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 no. no. This is the best time. Come on, y'all. This is the best time. Oh, I got two people. Why? Because we got to get something in the ground. We want to impart it to people. Come on. We want to come on. We want to help people grow. We're not going to do it when, we, when all is well and everything is done. No, we're not going to do it then. Yeah. Come on. But we're going to do it. Come on. We're going to do it like the lady like, like the lady and her son, the widow's son, who, who her and her son was about to die. That's right. Come on, somebody. And the prophet shows up at the house. Come on, somebody. Come on, the prophet shows up at the house. Come on, come on. Her and her son was about to die. And what did he do? He said, what, what do you have? What's in your hand? We just got a little bit of meal here. Me and my son, we about to die. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now you would have thought that. Come on, in the average world, they would have said, well, "Why don't he go out and, and go, go grocery shopping for her? Why don't he go? Why don't he go get a, a loaf of bread or something? Why don't he go yes, to yes. Turkey's chicken? Y'all don't have Turkey's chicken. Why don't he go to KFC and get a bucket and bring it back? Come on, come on. But he didn't say none of that. He looked at us and said, "Girl, go, 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 bake me a cake. Come on, somebody." Go take what you got and take me a time. Yeah. 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 God is looking for.
for what? Obedience. Because obedience is what? Better than what? Sacrifice. So what am I saying to you? What, what am I saying to you? That if you want to go to the next level for 2022, and come on somebody, amen, God has said what? You got to be willing to give up something. Come on, you got to be willing to make an exchange. Make an exchange. Make an exchange. Take what you love the most and offer it to the altar and say, come on, come on, God. God, for you, come on, God. I'm going to call, come on, come on, God. This is not for me. This is for you. Amen. I did that. I laid down my music. God will always ask you to give what you love the most. That's right. Amen. Amen. Do me a favor. Look, look at the person and say, don't, don't be surprised. Before the end of the month, yeah. if he tells you yeah. to give up everything in your bank account. Yeah. Look at the person and say, don't tell the person that said, tell I know y'all looking crazy. Let me say it again. I know y'all looking at me crazy. Me say, Pastor, you better put him back on the airplane now. Come on. He got to go back on the airplane. Come on, come on. Don't be surprised if God tells you. But when, let me tell you something. Whenever God asks you to do something crazy, let me teach you about to do something crazy. Come on. Whenever God to, come on. Whenever God asks you, come on, to empty out, let me teach you about to fill you up. Come on. Whenever God, come on, somebody. Come on. You know what? The Lord spoke to me this year. Right before the, 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 the end of this year, the Lord says, he says, son, you're going to be a place. Amen. Amen. I'm moving you from a place of, 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 of you believing for a house. Amen. And I'm moving you to a place where you're going to be buying a house with somebody else. So he says, I'm moving you from a place instead of you believing for a car. He said, I'm now moving you to a place that you're going to buy a car from somebody else. I, oh, I got two people. Come on. Come on. Give me a favor. Look at somebody say, you better be shouting right now. Come on. Because it may be you. Come on. It may be you. 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 Come on. It, what am I saying? And look, instead of me looking for a blessing, come on. This year, I'm going to be the blessing. I'm going to be the door. I'm going to be the one. Yes. Look at somebody and say, what you make happen for somebody else? Got to make happen for you. Everybody say, 2022? Everybody say, 2022? Everybody say, I want to be the door. I want to be the hand. I want to be the blessing. That God's favor flows through me. Come on. I want to be the one. I want to be the one. Come on. I, you know what? We ought to be saying, you know, 22, 2022, it ain't about me and you. Come on, somebody. Come on. It's about what God wants to do. Come on. It's about what God wants to do. If I say again, if I say the exchange. And you know, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. When I was willing to give up the music, put it down, make the exchange, and pick up the books for three months, I'm here to tell you, by the end of the three months, Jesus. I went from being a special ed student Jesus. to being an honor of student. Hey, I went from being a special ed Come on, y'all. Y'all hear what you're talking about. I went from being the teachers and administrators. They were amazed. They were amazed. Here's this guy. The teacher said, she says, I want you to focus on your books the way you focus on your music. And if you, oh, come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And if you wanted to lay down what you love the most, come on, Abraham gave what he loved the most. Oh, I'm, I'm here to tell you this. If you read on down in that scripture, come on, he said, he said when he's talking, Talking about the blessings of Abraham, he said, Come on, I'm gonna make you a father of nations. Come on, y'all. Come on. All of that happened after God saw his heart of obedience. Come on, because he was offering up. God said, I'm gonna bless you as far as the sea is. I'm gonna bless you. I'm gonna bless all of us speaking blessings over Abraham. Hallelujah. It didn't happen until he was willing to do what? Obey, Obey and offer up what he loved the most. The most. Amen. And everybody lift your hands. Everybody say, Lord, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. This year. This year. I'm going to offer up. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. I'm going to offer it up. I'm going to offer it up. To you. I'm going to make that sacrifice. Because God, I know that if I offer it up to you, you're going to open up the windows of heaven. And you're going to pour blessings out upon me. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody say it with me. Everybody say, it ain't going to have me. It ain't going to have me. Come on. My kids are not going to have me. My family's are not going to have me. Come on. My job is not going to have me. My family the kind of time going to happen. Come on, somebody. I, come on. I'm operating. Come on, somebody. I'm operating. Come on. In freedom. Come on. Hallelujah. Freedom. Freedom. Why? Because I'm doing what? I'm giving it back to God. Yes. yes. 
That's right. Woo! Amen. 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 Everybody should offer it up. Oh, offer it up. Yeah. Make the sacrifice. And I'm going to be continue to talk about this throughout this whole the seminar. What are you willing to offer up? It's one thing to come into the new year and say, God, do this, do this, do this. But it's another thing to turn back around and say, what am I going to do? What, what, what am I, what am I going to do? What am I, it's like me. And I, and I had to make a decision. And, and, and Pastor will tell you, I got to the airport yesterday. I probably spent five hours in the airport yesterday trying to come in. My plane was supposed to be leaving at one o'clock, but my 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 visa health health uh, for the COVID uh, uh, had not gone through, and I had no idea it had not gone through yet. And I was waiting, and I was waiting, and they finally looked at me and said, "Look, if you don't have, and that's what I'm telling you, it's challenging now when you're traveling, when you're traveling, because you have to, you can have the vac vaccination, and you can have all the rest of that, amen. But if you do not have that that visa health card." They will not let you get on the plane. And I was over there. I was quoting scriptures, and I was saying Jesus paid it all. They said you stood like on this plane. And I said I even went to Doctor Collins, and I said he's waiting on me. Come on, God's gonna move. And I said, sir, until we see the visa, God's gonna have to hold up until you until you get that visa thing. Amen. And they would not let me on the plane. I mean, I had to say, come. And you know what? I just backed off, and I said, God, you got this. Amen. I said, God, you got, God. I know I want to get there, but God, you got this. How many does it come? Oh, I'm still a preacher right now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I ain't going to be long, y'all. I'm about to quit, y'all. How many you know there's a time in your life when you got to back off and say, God, you got this? Can I get two people? You just, come on, say, this, say, come on, back off and say, God, you got this. Come on, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to lose no sleep about it. Come on, I ain't going to, come on. How many you know this particular year, you ain't going to stress out about nothing? I ain't going to stress out. I'm not stressing out. Five P's or four P's a few minutes ago. He gave the five P's. I'm going to give you four M's. Everybody yeah, yeah, said four yeah. M's. Four Amen, four M's. And I'm talking about creating a momentum. Oh, come on. I feel like running now. Yeah. Creating the momentum. Yeah. Come, on, come on. It's like a guy in a race. Come on. He got to create that momentum. Come on. That momentum just don't happen. He got to create it. Come on. How he positions himself determines that. Come on. How fast he going to go. He got to create the momentum. Everybody said create the momentum. Look at the person that said, you want to get there? You, there? you got to create it. Create, create that momentum. Yeah. Come on, 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 come on. Part of the, come on, come on, part of creating that momentum. How many of you got to encourage yourself? Yeah. You got to speak to yourself. Come on, 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 come on. How many of you got to get around people who are pushers? Come on, who gonna push you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got to create what the momentum. I'm going to give you four M words. Yeah. Four M. Everybody said four M words. Four now here's the first word I'm going to give you. The first one, everybody said minimize. Yeah. Say it again, said minimize. Yeah. Everybody look at somebody and say minimize your circle. Yeah. Your circle is too big. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's why I'm not impressed with large crowds. Yeah. Come on, somebody. And I'm not impressed. Come on, come on. Gideon had, what, 3,000. And God said, no, 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 no. He got too many. Come on. You got too many. Come on, come on. I'd rather have five people who are with me, five people who are pushing me, five people who believe in me, five people, I got two people, y'all can say, come on, I, I, let, me, let, me, let me talk to you, I rather have five people who are running with me, five people who are praying with me, five people who are investing in me, than to have 500 and they just sitting on the wall. And Look at the person that says, God ain't impressed with them us. He's impressed with obedience. Come on, somebody. He's impressed with people who are obedient. Who are obedient. Come on, y'all. Who are pity obedient. People who will give up something. Who will make the exchange. Who will sacrifice. If I said again, said minimize. If I said minimize. I'm going to give you this and we're going to do it. We're going to we we do this again. You're going to hear these words again. Because you need to hear them every day. Especially the new year. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody said minimize. Everybody said shorten your circle. Circle 
pool is too big. Come on, God. That needs to be, come on, come on. One of the things that I always say, and the, and the reason I did that song, it's a new season. And God told me I was doing this song, it's a new season. And he said, your new season is predicated on who enters and who exits your life. There needs to be some exits. Come on, y'all. Come on. There needs to be some people that you say, I'm not going to take in in 22. There needs to be some people that you leave behind you. They need, I got two people. Y'all got to hurry up. There needs to be some people that you say, I ain't losing them on sleep. I ain't going to call them. Now, one more time. I'm taking them. Come on, y'all. They get off my call list. I'm taking them off my call list. I'm taking Off. Take them off and drop them off. That's true. Amen. Everybody's I'm not losing no more tears. I ain't gonna worry. Come on, come on. I ain't gonna sit up and show. Why didn't they call me? Why didn't they text me? Brother, it's a season to minimize. Come on, you want to write them off. Come on, come on, write them off. Come on, come on. There's a phrase that I have that says, When it's done with you, be done with it. Come on, when it's done with you, be done with it. Minimize. If I said minimize. If I said minimize. If I said I am minimizing my circle. I'm minimizing the stress, worry, and the drama. And the drama. Aha. That's right. I minimize it. Yes. If you want to create the momentum that you're looking for, create the momentum. Now, this is good for y'all because y'all getting this firsthand. Y'all getting it. I, 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 let me tell you, I haven't shared this with nobody. You're the first one. Come on. This is, come on, this is, this is, I, come on y'all. Come on, come on. What am I saying? This is hot off the press. Come on, y'all. I just got this from the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on. This is hot off the press. Come on. If I said minimize. If I said minimize. Minimize the stress. Minimize the worry. Come on. Minimize. Minimize it. Minimize it. That means some things you got to do, like I said at the airport, you got to back off of it. Yes. Yeah. 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 That word came to me, little brother, and I was at the airport, and I was sitting there saying, but I want to go to the Bible. I want to go to the Bible. You know what? Let me say this. I'm going to say something. I'm going to I'm gonna throw a curveball on you right now, but I'm going to say to you. My papa, Dr. Miles Monroe, would probably still be here today. Yeah. Yeah. If he had said, when he got the phone call from the tower, they said, turn your plane around. They said, turn your plane around. They said, turn it around. They had another plane that was coming from Atlanta. One of, the, one of the one of one of our politicians was on the plane, and they told them I think it was Delta or something. And they they turned it around. It was either Delta or America. They turned around and said, "There's a storm here. There's a storm. Turn the plane around. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait it out. Turn it, turn it around. Wait. Just turn it around. Wow. You you know what? I've learned. I, I've learned. Uh huh. Amen. Sometimes, some, you, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it may be your season, but not your time. Come on now. And sometimes, well, come, let me say it here. Sometimes it may be your season, but not your time. You could be, oh, come on, come on. Just because a woman is pregnant, that don't mean that she's going to birth the baby tomorrow. Come on, come on. She may be pregnant and she may be out here, but it's still not close. Come on, I'm, come on y'all. Until she gets those contractions and, and those contractions, like, then the doctor says, I think, come on, Miss I think, come on, we're getting closer. We can go. You in your season, but it ain't your time yet. And you may come on, somebody. You in your season, but it may not be your time. But I believe, like my situation last night, I'm at the airport. Because I'm thinking, I do not want to call Pastor and tell him. That's all I was thinking. Oh, 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 Jesus. I don't want to call him, Lord Jesus. I don't know him like y'all know him. And I, and, and I know how sometimes pastors can be. You know, because sometimes they, well, well, maybe we shouldn't do this. And maybe, and I'm like, Lord, no, Lord. No, no. But I call him. And he said, it's all right, brother. He said, this is all right. We can come back. Come on. We'll do it Sunday evening. Come on, y'all. Come on. That's the kind of man he is. Come on, y'all. Because you see what God is doing. Come on. And when you talk got two people, y'all, I got to hurry up. When you know God is doing something, you don't sweat it. This is why I said, you don't sweat it. You don't, you don't sweat it. You don't sweat it. Yes. That's true. They told Papa, they said, Papa Miles, turn and go back. 
And I can see him because I I've been with Papa Pops. Is I can see him now, and I can see Ruth, mm. his lovely wife, mm. and I can see uh, Pastor Bender. I can see, but but his wife. I can see her saying, Miles. We make it. Maybe we shouldn't do this one. Right. Maybe we should just go back. Maybe, maybe we, we shouldn't do this one. I can see I can see Ruth. I can hear because how many you know how many I don't care I don't care what the men may be but be thinking how many you know the woman the woman has that spiritual come on, intuition. That woman yes, come, yes. Come, uh, come, it's gonna be quiet here. Come yes, on, yes, come. there's something about a woman's intuition. Yes, come on, come yes. on. I tell men if you just listen to that woman that you got, come on, I don't care how crazy she is. Come on, 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 just listen to her. Come on, come on. Come on, make sure that she ain't putting no hot sauce on the black eyed peas, but listen to her. Come on. <laughs> she put hot, if she put hot sauce on the black eyed peas, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> but I keep roofs up there saying, yes. Miles, yes. maybe we don't need to do this one. No. But you know what? It's, it's, it's natural, cause men, we like we like lions. That's all I mean. We go after things. We, oh yeah. We we, we 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 think to quit is like defeat. Yeah. That's yeah. all I mean. But sometimes you just need to back off. That's yeah. right. Come on, somebody. Come, yeah. You don't know what's up. You don't know what's on the other side. Come yeah. on. You, but you can't see on the other side. Sometimes you need to just back off. That's true now. Amen. And I believe today, mm -hmm. Papa. Would be here. Amen. 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 Sometimes you gotta just say, not this one. If I said not this one. Not if I said not this one. Not that one. Amen. 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 And I learned that last night. Amen. The Lord says, walk away from it. Yeah. He yeah. said, He yeah. said, don't push it. No. No. Amen. No. Look at the person next to said, this year. Yeah. Tim said, don't push it. Don't push it. If I said this year, if I said minimize it. Come on, y'all. This, this, come on, y'all. Come on, this year. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Look at the person that said, just stand still. Come on, y'all. Just stand still. Enter into the rest of the Lord. Enter into the peace of the Lord. Enter into the peace of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 And I, last night, I just. You know what? I just, you know, I, 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 after, after I talked with Pastor, I finally got up the nerve to call him. And he just gave me to me, brother, don't worry. Don't worry, brother. It's going to work out. Amen. It's gonna, so this particular year, everybody said, minimize. The second word I want to give you, everybody said, with me, everybody said, multiply. Come on. How are you ready for God to multiply you? Come on. Come on. He said, you'll be fruitful. He said, but he said, be fruitful. He said, he said, multiply. Amen. Subdue. Have dominion. Come on. Come on. So this is your year to multiply. Multiply. In fact, one of the things I'm going to be talking about this week, amen, I'm going to talk about walking in multiple streams of, in, of, of income. Come on. Multiple street. Everybody said multiple street. Come on. Multiple. 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 Hallelujah. Multiple street. Amen. Multiple. multiple. Amen. Amen. God wants you to multiply. And that's why you can't be stressed out because if you're stressed out, you're not going to multiply. Amen. Come on, come on, amen. amen, amen. Because when you're stressed out, you don't allow your creative, your creative ideas to flow. Yes. And God wants you. Come on, lift up your hands right now. Everybody say, God, everybody say, God, thank you for creative ideas flowing through me right now. Creative ideas to cause me to prosper in 2022. Creative ideas to cause me to multiply, multiply. Come on, multiply. Come on, this year, multiply. Amen. Creative ideas. Amen. 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 The third word. The third word. If I said mobilize. If I said get mobilized. Mobilize. Amen. Look at the person that said God sending you. God sending you. Leapers. Leapers. Not sleepers. Leapers. He's sending you. Come on. He's sending you what they call Mary Elizabeth. Come on. Amen. He's sending you people that's going to cause what you have on the inside to leap on the inside. Mopto, come on. Mobilize your team. Come on. Get your team. Come on. Look at somebody say, because you can't do it by yourself. What? You can't. So you need to surround yourself. Mobilize your team. Mobilize people around there. Mobilize them. Yep. How many know you can have a room full of gifted people, but if you don't mobilize them, it's just come yeah, on. Right there. It's all just contained. Yeah. Mobilize. Come on, mobilize. There's going to be an anointing, and, and, and pastors have to do it. They have to do it because how many you know? It's like the it's, it's, it's like the it's like the like, like, like the eagle in the nest. How many you know if the mother eagle? Come on, y'all know the story of the mother eagle. If the mother the mother eagle deliberately makes.
makes the nest uncomfortable. Yes. Because she knows if she makes it too comfortable, the babies will never get out of the nest and they'll never discover the wings. So she makes the nest uncomfortable. She makes it, she got to mobilize it, yes. to get them going, to cause them to see their gift, to cause them to see their potential. Amen. Everybody said mobilize. Mobilize. Everybody said mobilize. Mobilize. Everybody said mobilize. mobilize. Everybody said minimize. Mobilize. Everybody said multiply. Mobilize. Everybody said multiply. Mobilize. Everybody said mobilize. Mobilize. Last word, everybody said maximize. Say it again, said maximize. This is my season. To maximize. I'm gonna maximize. Everything I do. And how I'm going to do it? I'm going to start, first of all, with taking what I love the most, <laughs> laying at the altar. I'm going to give up what I love to get what I need. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. That's it. Come on, come on. I'm going to How do I maximize? I give up what I love the most to get what I need. That's how I'm going to maximize. But how am I, how, what other way I'm going to maximize? I'm going to minimize. I'm going to minimize. I'm getting all the people, come on, in, uh, out of my life who's bringing the stress, the right. drama, and yes. all that. I'm yes. getting that out of my life. Yes. Come on, come on. Yes. Look at somebody say, I'm leaving that right now. Come on. Yes. I ain't, everybody say, I'm not, everybody say, I'm not taking it home with me. Come on. I'm not I taking it home with me. No, no. I'm going to begin to multiply. I'm going to begin to multiply. Everything I have, multiply. I'm going to talk about that even more. I'm going to talk because when I talk about it, I'm going to be talking about the parable of the talent. I, I'm not going to go into it tonight, but the parable of the talent. Amen. God wants you to multiply. This is your season for 22. Everybody say double. Everybody say again, say double. Everybody say again, say double. Everybody say, I'm getting double for my trouble. Everybody say, I'm getting double for my trouble. Amen. Amen. You know what? One of the things God told me, He said, this pandemic, this pandemic, this global pandemic has been like the whale, like Jonah and the whale. But I'm here to tell you this. God says, He's getting ready to spit. Come on, come on. They got to spit south. Come on, come on, come on. You may have felt like you were in the giant of the, the giant, come on, of the well of the, the pandemic, but it's spitting us out. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, change is coming. Look at somebody say, change is coming. Check me, say, change is coming. My season, everybody said, my season. Everybody said, my season. My season. Is here. Right now. Uh-oh. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. 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 Oh, yes. My season. My season. My season. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Everybody said my my, my new season. My new season. It's coming. It's coming. Right now. Right now. Everybody said with me. Everybody said a fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. It's a fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. It's flowing my way. It's flowing my way. Season of power. Season of power. Prosperity. Everybody say it's flowing to me. Right now. Right now. Right now. What I'm looking for is looking for me now. I'm not gonna have to run it down. It's about to run me down. Come on. How many of the blessings of the Lord is about to run you down? Come on. How many of the blessings of the Lord is about to overtake you? Come on, the blessings of the Lord are about to what? Overtake you. Amen. 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 How many of you believe by the Spirit of the Lord, this is gonna be a season of yeah. year like no other season? Come on, God. I, I believe this, amen. 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 That's why I'm, I'm so glad that you guys are here tonight because this is this word is like a special delivery. Yeah. Yes. Everybody said it's a special, special delivery. This is a, it's a special delivery word yeah. for you, the body of Christ. Yeah. I believe that I believe that by the Holy Spirit, amen, by the Holy Spirit, because of everything that we've had to go through all of last yeah. year, the year before since 2019. Oh. I believe, come on, amen, that, that, amen, that God is gonna make up everything. It's gonna yeah. be a makeup oh, year, yeah. amen. It's gonna be a makeup year, amen. Yeah. And God is giving, getting ready to give you what I call a retroactive. Oh, yeah. Come on, clap the hands, retroactive, retroactive. Thank about you. Say, you about to say retroactive. Retroactive. Say it again, say retroactive. Retroactive. He's giving you a retroactive anointing. Yeah. My Lord. A retroactive yeah. anointing. Get ready. For retroactive, thank you. I what? receive it. Thank Anointing. You. I believe like never yeah. before. Amen. There's Amen. getting ready to be. How many of you in this room right here believe that there's getting ready to be a supernatural outpouring? Yeah. 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 Come on, come on, 
Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There's getting ready to be a supernatural, amen, outpouring, amen, an outpouring like you have never experienced before. Amen. God is moving. He's moving by his power. He's moving by his anointing. Amen. And amen. And I believe that he's doing a new thing without nobody's permission. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody say a new thing. No day. Without nobody's commitment, without nobody's permission. Amen. The Bible says what in Isaiah 43, Isaiah 43, he says what? Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Yes. Behold, I would do what?